Hey Taurus, welcome. This is your January 11th portal reading. You know, just like the other portals, like the Lion's Gate during Leo season, the 1111 portal, um, a time where, you know, what you think about, where your emotions go towards, what you're desiring, where your soul lies, it's what is going to manifest into your life. I do a ritual where I, with every moon, eclipse, and portal, I put down what I want, what I want to heal from, what I want to let go of, and I burn the piece of paper in a sink. Make sure the sink is dry. I take the ashes and put it in like a pot, a plant in my home, in the dirt, in my yard, or if you don't have that, you can go to like a park or something. Nobody has to see you do it. Or if you have a plant in your office at work, just put it in the dirt and allow it to absorb you will see what's coming towards you. So this is a time for manifesting. Do you have to do all of that? No. Just think about what you truly want, what you would like to heal from, be done with. Put it out there to the universe today. We're going to do a past, present, and future reading, and we are going to see what is coming towards you, what is manifesting in the um, future. I'm going to pull Scrabble tiles at the end, um, I'm not going to dump them out like I do normally. I'm going to pull like one out at a time. So if you see your initials, your person's initials, if this shows up about love, um, then it resonates even more for you. You'll know that it's additional clarity. If it resonates for you and you don't see your name or your initials or anything, then it's still meant for you if it resonates with you. All right. Archangel Zadkiel, Angel of Mercy. Forgiveness ends estrangement, enlightenment, solutions, compromise. I help you forgive past wrongs to help clear energy, energetic blocks and transmute any negative with the violet flame. Six to 12 months. I even feel like this came out in your end of the month reading, middle to end of the month. It says, give it time. Hmm. Within 6 to 12 months, so manifest it today, a change in a situation, a compromise, healing from a situation. Because Archangel Zadkiel is backing you up. Gemini energy. An angel of mercy, Metatron. Archangel Metatron and Zadkiel. Pay attention to cardinals, red feathers, because that's one of the symbols for Metatron. Having compassion in a situation. Maybe seeing it from a different perspective. Maybe putting yourself in their shoes to try to understand what is happening here. But I feel like there's still hope within a connection. All right, let's see. And, you know, it's not going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. If most of your days you live negative in negative energy, always thinking the worst, always saying it's never going to happen for me, then it's not. So this, you know, if you stay negative every day of your life and you live mad, live mad or holding a grudge with someone or even saying you hate that person, it's... Never, nothing's ever going to happen that's positive for you. All right. Look at that. Past energy, wheel of fortune. So for those of you that resonates and this did happen and there needs to be a compromise or healing, know that it was meant to happen the way it went down. This person that comes to mind for you, it was meant to go the way it happened. Even if it was a hard ending, there was a lesson to be learned. You were meant to be on each other's path. Look at that. The vision, the manifesting today, the planting the seeds, the keeping the vibration high. Attitude is gratitude. Putting it all out there and embracing it and enforcing it. Let Planting those seeds, something is coming to fruition. Something that's part of your destiny. 
and there's the progression. There is the Eight of Wands, the Cupid's arrows, the communication. I feel like there was a sudden ending or heartbreak or disagreement with someone that you weren't expecting. You didn't want it to happen with this tower card at the bottom. However, it did happen. You need to surrender to it. It was meant to happen that way. And there is going to be progression from that. Look at that. See? The ending of what might have been negative energy. Of what might have been not the right energy for the two of you to communicate in. To be together in. But it allowed for a brand new beginning. A transformational brand new beginning. See? Make those burdens a positive what those obstacles are, where there's bumps in the road. Rise up from that. See it from a different perspective. If there's something that you were burdened by, that you thought long and hard about, where your emotions were driven to, that's all manifesting. That's all sit, the, seven of, the Seven of Pentacles energy. There's something coming to fruition here. And for some of you, you're dealing with the King of Cups energy. You could have King, you could have um, water in your chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but the King of Cups energy is right. Look at that. Is receiving a message of somebody wanting to be in union with you, coming with their heart completely open, being ready to be dedicated. This might even be somebody that you met through work with all of these pentacles here. But coming towards you, wanting to work on this, wanting to be dedicated to, to it. Be a team. You might be at a distance from this person. There could be some traveling that needs to be involved. Maybe you were traveling for work, met this person. And because of the distance, you know, it, it was just hard. It'll be different for each and every one of you. See, this heartbreak was meant to happen. I don't feel, I feel that somebody wasn't in their best energy. I do feel like it was with a water sign. But with the Knight of Cups, you know, they came in very chivalrous. They came in very romantic. But they were a knight. I like how in the future energy they're coming in as a king. Coming in as a knight, like, you know, whether it be masculine or feminine energy, coming in for the, you know, the gestures, the communication, the embracing, you know, the, the um, passion, the feelings. But when it came down to a commitment, it's like somebody was lacking. This definitely could have stemmed from work or business. This person might have been very dedicated to their work, to their business. And in that time, in that energy, like didn't have that much time to spend with you. You know, see, there was this change that you didn't want to happen, this ending. But there's the magician, like I said. Taurus, in your thoughts and your emotions, and this person's thoughts and emotions, you want this. You want to be together. And I feel like there was definitely a leveling up. Yeah, they want to reach out to you, but they're conflicted on what to say. But they're coming in offering you something very abundant. I just feel for some of you, they were emotionally unavailable. They were more focused on their finances, their stability, you know, their, their goals. And I just feel like they were, they seemed emotionally unavailable, but now they're coming in with their heart on their sleeve, knowing and hoping, knowing that they want to be with you and see this through, but hoping that you'll be compassionate 
and have that peaceful compromise with them. I don't feel like they expect it to hurt as much as they did. All right. Blank. So I will put that right there. I have I, E, V, D, A, N as in Nancy, T, X, another T, let me see, I'm going through them in my hand, Y, W, these are all repeating, all right, hold on, get just a couple more. Okay. I'm going to put them right here instead of S O B F P All right. I should put it down here because it's not a vowel. Okay, so the only vowel that we're missing is U. And then, again, these are the letters that came out aside from the vowels. Now, look for your name, their name, their initials, your initials. And, again, if there is not any initials here or name then it, and it resonates, then it's still meant for you. This is just additional clarity to make it more personal. For anybody who wants me to tune into just your energy, the link to my Etsy shop is down below. You can head over there and view the readings that I offer. And then I will tune in to just your energy. But with these things, I'm just trying to make it more personal. All right, Taurus? But there will be a reconciliation. There will be a compromise. Seeing it from each other's point of view. It's like both of you are sitting here like, you know, you miss one another. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what to say. You don't, you know, like, you don't know where to go from here. But there was a leveling up and there is communication coming in. All right. Love and light, Taurus. Manifest whatever you want today. Just make sure you keep your vibration high. Stay safe.